Good morning, Hornets. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas. 
one state, under God, one and indivisible. You may be seated. Now for one minute of silence in which you may reflect, pray, meditate, or engage in any other silent activity that is not likely to interfere with or distract another student. I can't wait for the favorites dance. Um, that's not happening anymore. <gasps> what? Instead of a favorites dance, Student Council is hosting a spring festival on Thursday, March 7th from 2 to 6 p.m. There will be a variety of concessions and carnival style games that you guys can go attend. And those with perfect attendance are able to leave school early in order to attend. <laughs> Let's kick off spring break with something fun, exciting, and new. Hope to see you there. Congratulations to lifelong Hornet senior Cooper Floyd on being named the Flyer Bluff High School Career and Tech Student of the Month. Cooper is a member of the BPA, UIL Computer Applications Team, the Robotics Team, and the Science Olympiad. Cooper has a passion for computers and video games. He plans to attend a Newmont College of Computer Science in Salt Lake City, where he plans on studying cybersecurity and networking. Hi, I'm Camille, and I'm here with one of the Anchored for Life advisors. Hi, I'm Ms. Stewart. We're here to talk to you about the canned food drive. Um, some of our Anchored for Life students have put together a service project, and we are wanting all the high school kids to help get involved. Um, they're going to be collecting um, non-perishable food items, um, such as cans of soup, ramen noodles, anything that our food pantry can utilize and help to pass out at the school. Thank you. Thank you. You can drop off your canned foods in the counselor's office. Cafeteria. At the front office. Or in room 612. Please donate to your community. Good morning, Hornets. My name is Scotty. And I'm Allison. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of the Hornets Nest News. Today is Monday, February 26th. And for lunch today, the Hornet Cafe is serving pulled pork with chips, pizza, burgers, pita cheese wrap, coleslaw, side salad, and applesauce. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm having the pita wrap. Did you know that pita bread has been around for 4,000 years? Absolutely well, crazy. That's a long time. It is indeed a very, very long time. Yeah, and pita means flatbread in Greek. You are just full of knowledge today. Why, thank you. I am very full of knowledge today. <laughs> Class Pride and Heart will be on display this weekend, and the Hornets are up to the challenge. Today, JV Golf is at Moody. JV White and Maroon Baseball is home to Victoria West. Tomorrow, JV Tennis is at Toloso Midway Tournament. Softball is at Gregory Portland, and Baseball is at Victoria West. Thursday, JV Maroon Baseball starts the Beeville Tournament. JV White begins the Victoria Tournament. Varsity Softball is at the Hayes Tournament. Varsity Baseball starts the Cal Allen Tournament. And Track and Field are at the Cal Allen Relays. Friday, Boys and Girls Varsity Soccer is home to Moody. And Varsity Tennis is at Toloso Midway Tournament. Saturday, JV Boys Soccer is at the Alice Tournament. And JV Girls Soccer is home to Moody. Congratulations to the Hornets Swim and Dive team on a great season and for qualifying for the state meet. The girls' team placed 23rd overall in state. Congratulations to the district champion and regional semifinalist Lady Hornet basketball team on a great season. A Hornet high five goes out to the Hornet baseball team for going 2-2 two and two last week on, at the sit-in tournament. Special recognition goes out to J.J. Pelusio, who did a good job hitting the ball. 
The Hornets also had a strong pitching performances from Carson Santos, Colton Engler, RJ Moreno, Austin Myers, and Cody Clay. Congratulations to Coach Guidry and the boys' track and field team for winning first place at the Ingleside Mustang Relays last Saturday. A special shout-out to the NJROTC team for winning state championship last weekend. Congratulations to the NJROTC for bringing home the 25th state champion championship in school history. Way to go, Sea Hornets. Calling all volunteers. The Special Olympics is looking for volunteers for the event that will take place at the Horton Stadium on April 26th. True. <laughs> They're looking for volunteers. <laughs> Don't forget your yearbook. Don't forget to order your yearbook ASAP. Order yours now at www.yearbookforever.com or talk to Mrs. Brandaway in room 504. Calling all Hornets. Do you have school spirit? Do you love to cheer? Now is your opportunity to show up your Hornet pride and try out for the FBHS cheerleading team. Pick up an application packet at the high school receptionist desk or in room 401. There will be a mandatory parent meeting on Tuesday, March 5th in the Flower Bluff High School Teaching Theater. There, you are, there are required forms that will be needed. Tryouts will be held March 22nd with the clinic happening March 18th through 21st. CPH, go Hornets! Parking tags are needed to park on school property. Students can park in the library, band hall, and varsity gym lots only. Seniors, please come to the art display cases in the 200 hall to check your senior portrait. If there are any errors in your name or your photo is missing, please see Miss Brandewee in room 504. If you don't tell us about any errors, there will be printed as are. Thank Finally, you. it's Motivational Monday. The Dalai Lama said choose better to be optimistic. It Ab feels better. Absolutely wise advice. And that's all for our news today. Have a marvelous Monday.